power. We call me that. How they're able to stand those temperatures is beyond me. Sir, he's arrived. Expecting? Control signaled your landing. I arrived just before you. Heck of a ride. Patrick Glenn. I was assigned to Captain Spears on the Mariner 10 project when he discovered Mercury Base. Jack Yeager. No need to tell me. Patrick Glenn. I was assigned to Captain Spears on the Mariner 10 project when they found the Mercury Base. Jack Yeager. No need to tell me. I was part of the group you saved with your famous feats during the Saturn Accords. Well, that was one mean hop. So this is how the Mercurians got to Earth. Any sign of the natives? No. The first men won't come within a mile of the facility. Well, it was here that a dozen of them were launched into the stars. Never to be seen again. Looks like a makeshift vehicle assembly building. Milled and jury rigged. It's cobbled together with American and Russian technology. Some elements we've not even seen before. Nothing short of a marvel of engineering. Everything the chief designer builds is a marvel. So it's true then? The chief designer is still alive. Yes, he is. And is he as dangerous as they say he is? Dangerous? He led the Russians into space. Convinced 13 of the world's best scientists to forever encase their brains for his use. Constructed a full launch complex on an empty world which has never seen a scrap of technology. And in a 12 hour period, he damn near crashed the moon into the earth. It's far more than dangerous. The complex is abandoned. We thought so. Three League engineers were sent to investigate on three separate missions. None of them returned. I'll show you the control room first, then the launch tower. Now there isn't any documentation, but we did get...
shot the wrong target. His name was Patrick Glenn. Apologize when you see him. <laughs>